Hello and welcome to Composer 2015 Training Series. Here we will quickly skim the surface, get familiar with the new interface and features, and we will be creating some interesting projects. This tutorial is made for beginners and advanced users. Now, having said that, let's go ahead and start our tutorial. When launching Composer 2015, right after the splash screen, a window will appear. In it we will find three parts. The initial part, this is the initial part, and you can click on the 2D ground. This image is like explaining how to start and we won't be needing it now. So let's go ahead and close it. Let's go back to new. And this part over here is the recent files. So you can open projects and so on. Here we have the license and you can change your license. So let's go ahead and click the robot just for now for this tutorial. Now to begin with, the interface is broken into the workbench, which is also including this. The panels. And this one is not active. And this one. Third we have the 3D area, which is this place. And finally we have the preference bar. The workbench bar is where all the work takes place. Basically anything we want to do will be through here. The workbench bar is consisted of different workbenches. Each workbench is consisted of a group of tasks. And each task is consisted of a bunch of actions and tools. Notice how the panels are related to the tasks selected on the workbench. They change accordingly. The left panel, the right panel, the library panel, and finally the quick access panel. Now for the 3D area. The 3D area is where our models go, and here we can navigate. Now a quick tip on navigation. Left click and drag is to rotate, right click and drag is to zoom, and left right and drag is for panning around. Now there are two helpers associated with the 3D area. This up here is the common toolbar. And this over here is the current action helper. Finally, the preference bar. Here we can change some settings, themes, and other interesting options. Also access the help. If you ever got stuck in something, Next video we will get in more depth, using some of the basic but important, tools and actions. Thanks for watching, hope to see you soon.